Today we're in 1 Kings chapter 1. King David is an old man, and it's right, I think, to remember David as a man after God's own heart. But we also have to remember David as a man who was cursed by the Lord because of his sin with Bathsheba. The curse verbalized by the prophet Nathan was this, Because of what you have done, I will cause your own household to rebel against you. And that's exactly what we see happening in our reading today. In verse 5, David's son, Adoniah, proclaims, I will make myself a king. And he begins to take steps in that direction. But David has made a vow to his wife Bathsheba that their son, Solomon, would be the next king of Israel. And I'd encourage you to read the story for yourself today. But here are just a couple of points for context. Nathan, the same prophet who pronounced the Lord's curse on David, is used this time in David's favor to expose Adonai's scheme. And God uses Nathan's wisdom and Bathsheba's passionate heart toward her son to motivate King David to respond quickly, even from his deathbed. Verse 38 says, So Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and the king's bodyguard took Solomon down to Jehon Spring with Solomon riding on King David's own mule. There Zadok the priest took the flask of olive oil from the sacred tent and anointed Solomon with oil. They sounded the ram's horn and all the people shouted, long live King Solomon. And all the people followed Solomon into Jerusalem, playing flutes and shouting for joy. The celebration was so joyous and noisy that the earth shook with the sound. It was an opportunity for great celebration in honor of Solomon, their king. And here's what I hope you'll take away from this chapter. We have that same opportunity every Sunday as we come together to worship the Lord. Not to celebrate an earthly king, but to celebrate the King of Kings, the one who came, who lived among us, who died for our sins, and then rose again victorious over sin and death. That's worth celebrating. So as we gather to worship the Lord this Sunday, my hope is that our celebration will be so joyous and noisy that the earth shakes with the sound of it. I can't wait to worship the Lord with you this Sunday.